Okay, I think this is day 27. I'm not 100% sure looking at my videos, but um, this is a quicker video. I just did a recording of... Um, what did I do a recording of? Oh, I guess I just did... Let's move that a little better. Um, I was doing the line art for um, my picture of Penne. So I did the outline previously, so what I'm going to do is I just want to get that outline onto a new um, new file, new image. Um, yeah, um, I record this without sound, this one and um, the next day's um, separate days, of course, because I'm following my rules. But um, I'm going to be recording the audio at the same time. Um, I just woke up. Can tell what side of the bed I have my head on. So very bad bed head. But um yeah, let's see, um Penny, so cute. Um Yeah, after after I show the sketching I'll do I'll show how the colorings currently is because I've been doing that in my own time. Um pretty proud of how she's going. Um, she's going better than my work in the next video, which will be um, me trying to color. Do I do the trying to color her or do I try to... Hmm. I guess I'll figure out when I start the next video. So I'm cutting out very poorly. Um, there we go. That's good enough. Uh, control C. Control V. Magic. Okay, um... Yeah, so the you know, size DPI is, or I guess that's what determines the size here, a lot different. Um, so I bring her up the size. Um, in the original sketches, I, or pictures I did of the boy guinea pigs I did, I had them like sitting on the pasta dishes. I think I want to incorporate the pasta in a different way because... Um, maybe having them sit on pasta is a little dirty. Um, so for Lele Chan, um, Fotofare, which is the bow tie pasta, I'm having it as like a bow in her hair, which you've probably seen like flash on the screen a couple times. Um, yeah, so, um, anyway, for this, this foot is the foot covered by the sheet, or like the little, um, Table, what is it like a table? No, um, placemat, placemat, placemat that I had. Her, no, actually, no. This one, it's a bath mat. Um, the bath mat I had her sitting on. Oh, there she is, cute. There's wrong picture. <laughs> no, no, I keep having them flash in the background. Um. Okay. Um. So I could have done that picture. That's a good picture of her. Um. So anyway, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, oh yeah, I was looking for reference to see what exactly her foot looks like, I guess. Um, I did later have to like search for reference to see what color her foot was because I wasn't at home to check. Um, because her front, her front, let's see in this case, it's going to be her front right paw is a darker color. Oh, they're very noisy right now. I can hear them from here. I hope the neighbors can't hear. Um, they think they want veggies. Or they want me to clean their pen, which I'm going to do after I record these videos. Productive morning. Um, so, you can see how dirty the floor is in this picture. Um, yeah, I guess I'm studying the foot. Um, bringing up her... So it's easier to reference moving back and forth. Because I think I got, I decided the ear. Actually, I, and later doing this, I, no, I did notice that I forgot to do the bottom part of her ear going across. Like the top part, that's fine. But that little part right there, I had later had to add. Because I forgot about it. Um, 
So yeah, I, I'm maybe my lines at the top of her head were a little messy to m mark the different colored areas. So I should work on that in the future to make that clearer. So I think I'm starting the line work here. Uh, come on, you can do it, Adam. Don't make me skip ahead in the video. I think I'm trying to like align them perfectly. Okay, there we go. So I started with like a five, size five, I think. Um, so I'm using the charcoal on Clip Studio um, because that's what I used for all the other piggies. Um, I actually, in the end, I actually did, I do another layer in 10 and I decide that is both of them. I can't decide between the two, so I use both um, at the same time. And um, yeah, I think it's been working well so far. I'm just marking out where I think like the, f the direction the fur is going. Um, hmm. I should buy a new better microphone in the future. Um, I was going to use the built-in microphone on the, <laughs> the cat is so ugly. I hate every time it pops up. Um, you see, I, like every time my bet pops up, I'm cursing. Probably. Um, don't make that cat pop up again. Um, so I am getting the basic shape. I mean, I already got pretty much her shape perfectly, I think, in this, like, an initial sketch I did. So, um, I think it's mostly deciding how the fur is going to look is the biggest issue. Um, yeah. Um, so, like that... I guess it's okay. It could be better. It looks a bit um, too organized. I think that's why I decided to go with the two together in the end. Um, you're marking out the color areas. See, like I do the little swoop of the ear, this part, but yeah, that, this part, I don't do. Um, mm -hmm. Want to get the eye a perfect shape. Um, which I think I don't really get the perfect shape. So yeah, because that back part's going higher. I think in the original image, I think that fr the front part's higher. So yeah, so I'm going to change it up. Um, Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's still not great. Yeah. So I do the outline of the nose area and the mouth. This is going to be a pretty short video today. So I'm going to fast forward some for these some bits. Yeah, so because I just keep on switching back and forth. I got that back here. I got the little front chest hair. Um, I'm not really happy with the front claw at the moment, even now while I'm doing the coloring. Um, I'm not good with um, like showing like which one's in front. So it's on the list of things I need to work on. Um, okay. Ugh, I'm cold. It's probably why my guinea pigs are going beep, 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 beep. Maybe they're cold too. I should give them a new blanket. Okay, so I uh, see it go crazy, uh, and then yeah, here's where I'm trying to figure out the foot. I think I got the general shape of the foot correct. I think I decided I wanted a little bit. That stupid cat pops up. Um, save, save, and then. Yeah, I decide to make that blue, and then I decide to go over with a thicker line. Um, I just go through it all. Um, 
because I kind of I I kind of wanted to match the other the other ones, and they I think the either twenty or ten. So I went with the smaller size, and yeah, that's how she looks. Um, if I let's see, let's pause that video. Let's open Clip Studio. Okay. Um, okay. Um, nothing. Yeah, there. Okay. See, here's how she currently looks. I did fix the bottom of the ear. Um, I need to fix that area behind her ear. The coloring. Um, I need to actually do the back here. <laughs> um, the, I think this bottom claw is really good. The coloring, I need to make this darker and better separation. I got a less clear separation there. The back, um, I took some artistic liberty because she has a little dark patch around her booty. So I wanted to make that visible a little bit. I think I need to make it a little less visible. Um, and the other ones I was going with like a paint, like a charcoal outline, and then the in coloring was painting. But I just did mostly charcoal with her. Thank you, Barry, for being charged. Um, and then, like, if you do the charcoal clip studio and then you try like a lighter color, it kind of just like, it kind of mixes, so it doesn't pop as well if you're doing on the same layer. I didn't want to switch layers, so um, I just switched to the like a pencil. I forget which pencil I was using. Probably the pencil I used for the sketch. Yeah, just pencil. Um, so that doesn't have that issue of the color, so I'm able to get her whites nice and white. Um, yeah, so time for the next video. Peace.